Hi guys, this is Tina with Black Rabbit Homestead. I know you haven't seen me in a while. That seems to be a habit of mine now, and I want to try to break it. Becoming a new mom and having a homestead has left me feeling very overwhelmed because I want to feel and be a better person. I want to be a better wife. I want to be a better mother. So for New Year's resolutions, that was one of the things that I really wanted to accomplish. I've been struggling with balance. So this video was going to be about New Year's resolutions, but it's also about growing and becoming a better person. Because we all want to be better than we were yesterday, you just can't help but make this resolution, this promise to yourself that you will be better, you're going to exercise, you're going to cook more meals, that sort of thing. And I'm no different. I want all those things too. I find that I'm very tired of the excuses I give myself. Um, I'm upset that I don't take the time out for myself. Um, because in the end, I need to be better. I, I have a, a list, a book, where I keep all my notes for my YouTube and just the general thoughts. So if you see me looking down, I'm reading my notes. Um, yeah, I really want to work on self-benefit. I want things to be... I want to benefit my family. I want to be a better wife and a better mother. And the things that I have to do to get there, for me, is I want to keep a cleaner house. I want to read more classic novels. That way I can be a better role model for my son. And he can see that reading is kind of cool. We don't really watch a lot of TV, and I try to limit how much screen time we actually do, which is hard, because I want to be on YouTube or Pinterest, and that's like a vortex of trap. Anywho, um, I wanted to get into this habit of reading aloud. I was doing that for a couple years, and um, not to suit my own horn, but I'm pretty good at reading aloud. I bring emotion to it, and it's not monotone. And I noticed when I start reading aloud, everything else in my life starts to fall into place. I clean more. Um, I take better care of myself. I just try to do more, try to be a better person. And reading more has so many benefits. You're adding words to your vocabulary that you would never have used before. You become more eloquent in expression. You just start thinking a little bit more. Um, and I don't know about you, but like in sixth grade, when our teacher had made us read chapters aloud in the book, it really, really bothered me about how everybody else read. And I still see adults reading the same way sixth graders do, where it's just like, while I have many resolutions or goals this year, I'm not going to throw myself in the deep end. And that bothers me. Instead of saying, while I have many resolutions or goals this year, I'm not going to throw myself into the deep end. See that? It had a lot more emotion in it than what you expect from a sixth grader. So reading aloud was a very, very important exercise to me. I wanted to add exercise to my resolutions, but that is on the very, very, very end of my list because I don't really enjoy exercising that much and I'm not doing it to get fit or stay trim. So exercising was the least of the things that I really wanted to do. Um, cooking, however, since having a baby, I have fallen into a very nasty habit of getting takeout. Like, a lot of takeout. And it is not physically bothering me. It is mentally bothering me. Spiritually bothering, uh, bother, bothering me. <laughs> um, and you wouldn't think so. But I want to set a good example for my son. I want to cook meals. I want to cook healthy meals from the farm. And I'm not setting a good example if we order pizza however many times out of the month. And I know now because I'm habit tracking. Habit tracking. And I have had pizza last night and I felt terrible about it. And I had Chinese on the 8th. And then the rest 
once a week we go over to my husband's parents or my in-laws and then we have dinner there and that's really nice but I want to start getting into the habit of cooking the fact that I had two takeouts within the month of January already really makes me mad so I need to learn how to do that and if I'm going to be starting to cook better like I used to I need to start doing meal plans and that's a very hard thing for me because I'm not an organized person and you have to be organized if you know what meats you're gonna pull out what vegetables you're gonna do what are you gonna grow in the garden so that you could have your meal plans in the future and I'm making it harder because we want to shift all our food to 90 to 100 percent organic and if it's not organic we want it grown on the farm we want Ivan to have the best healthy nutritious meals that we can provide so no MSGs no corn syrups all that fun stuff it's a big rabbit hole that was one of my resolutions to go organic starting out as soon as possible we've I've been doing really good with that um, since the beginning of the month since Ivan so he's a really great motivator to be better than I was yesterday. I want to wake up earlier and I have a, I struggle with that big time because I have a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep and because we're co-sleeping with Ivan, I sleep a lot better now, but I'm still light sleeping. I check on him, I make sure he's okay. It's worse when he's in the crib because then I'm up and as your body gets up, you're releasing I think it's cortisol. Well, anyway, as your body sits up, you're releasing more energy into your body. But as you get up, you become more awake. And I need to stay down and to sleep. So anyway, I don't wake up early and I need to start waking up early. That's a big one for me. That'll be hard. Um, I also want to start again taking my vitamins. And I've been doing pretty good with that. Um, that's not bad. I just, I'm trying to reflect on how everything makes me feel. And I feel like all these little things, they don't seem like much. It's little everyday things that count. But it doesn't help with my anxiety right now. I'm feeling very overwhelmed and maybe I'm putting a little bit too much pressure on me on myself but this should come naturally to you as an adult I feel and it doesn't to me and that bothers the crap out of me I started habit tracking and I started off by buying a daily planner um, I've done this in the past and having a daily planner for me helps organize me um, so I bought this really cool one. I was super excited about it. It's the 2023 Old Fashioned On Purpose Planner by Jill Bringer. So I thought it's really cool. It's really in-depth. has nice things in the month chapters. Um, so in the beginning of your month, you can prioritize what your goals are. You can have a brain dump. So here's my prioritization. So you can see my prioritization is decluttering life, training the dog, going 90 to 100% organic, and meal plan. And then Ivan. He has always got to be my number one priority. And then here, which happened to be my habit tracking goals, is also what I've been doing. So for the times I've been waking up, I just write down what time I wake up. Um, I'm making sure that I'm cleaning every day, reading aloud every day. I'm doing very well with that. And then one thing that has really, really helped me in the past, and I want to continue with that, is this calendar. So for everything that I do, whether it's dusting or sweeping, mopping, it goes on my calendar. Those simple, basic tasks, because it doesn't come easy to me, I make sure I do it. And because I'm writing it down, I don't want to see me miss a day of something. It's very discouraging when that block is empty. So I like to fill the block as much as possible. So it's a mental game. And this is what happens when you have a track. Uh, is now you kind of are going on a winning streak. You are uh, hesitant to break that. 
so that really helps me. Not only that, it helps me, again, habit tracking. How often do I clean my sheets? Every two weeks, once a month, once a week. Um, how often do I clean the ceiling? How often do I clean the fridge? It's all right here. I can track everything and become better organized. And because I am cleaning more often, I have to clean less. It becomes quicker and quicker to clean something because it's not that dirty. It's just maybe a little dusty, but not bad. So that's one of the benefits of habit tracking. And because I'm cleaning faster, and it's becoming quicker, I'm making time. I am creating time for myself, much needed time, which I may not be feeling now, but it's coming, it's coming. I can finally have some time to myself. Right now, I've been snapping and I'm filming. It's an amazing feeling. I feel so distraught that I'm not filming and posting. This is something that I really wanted to do. I wanted to, because I'm a stay-at-home mom and I don't have an income coming in right now, it has really been biting at me, gnawing at my soul because my husband, I'm totally reliant on my husband and he's 100% okay with me, with it and that's great, but I feel terrible that he has to shoulder all that bar burden by himself. So even if I brought in like 30 to $40 a month, that eases me. So I want to get better at filming. It's not that you make a lot, you don't make a lot of money with YouTube. Um, but something is better than nothing. It's like saving pennies. So I definitely have loftier goals than just cooking and meal planning and keeping the house clean. Those are all basics that I feel every adult has that comes naturally. And Maybe it doesn't come naturally to you. Maybe you'll learn from me to some tips or anything like that, hopefully. Um, without my planner, my daily planner, I would fall apart again. But anyway, some of my loftier goals is to become a little bit more minimalistic. I have so much stuff. Like, my life is overrun by stuff. And... I feel like we have way more stuff coming in than leaving the house. And that's great because we're not very wasteful, but there is no need for so much stuff. I, my life is so cluttered and every time I look at it, it raises my anxiety levels. And I just don't want to be frazzled all the time. And I'm normally not. I'm you. I am usually a laid back person that rolls with the waves. I don't get bothered by things. I try not to get bothered by things. But now that I'm a mother, I'm bothered by things. So I am donating so much stuff. I just need it gone because I don't want to be this anxious mother, this anxious wife who is snapping at every little thing. And I am right now. I want to be a good example for my boy. I want to be a better wife. Long-term goals. Be a better wife. I want to be a better homesteader, a better YouTuber. And I feel like I cannot do that surrounded by so much clutter. You don't have to start in January 1st to make resolutions. It's not just about New Year's resolutions. It is about new me resolutions. And I hope you guys can feel inspired to take the next step forward to being a better you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a little bit rambly. I'm trying to work things in between naps and between my husband working. So it's kind of like you get what you get. And this is what life throws at you. And I guess this is what being a mom is like. If you like this video, hit like. If you like the rest of our videos, subscribe, become my friend leave a comment, I'll try to answer it. If not, I'm just busy.